During your time on The View, you mentioned Rachel Maddow was a tough interview because she was too shrewd. Why was it difficult to interview her? Because she's, I mean, she's a broadcasting genius. I mean, she's one of the greatest ever. And, you know, a lot of people that came on The View, you know, no, no shade, but I'm pretty good at what I do too. And they weren't that prepared. And she's, she's I mean, there's a reason why she is who she is. After delivering this bold line in your father's uh, beautifully written eulogy, you said the America of John McCain never had to be made great again because America was always great. You noted that everyone looked shocked except for Hillary Clinton, who smiled broadly. Did you ever hear from her directly after that? Yes, I have actually like had dinner with her. And um, yeah, she's, I've like really, I was very judgmental of Hillary Clinton before I was on The View in a way very. that was, yes. I regret it. I feel like once you're a woman in media and you feel the egregious sexism, I felt like I related to her in a different way. And I regret a lot. I, I think I talk about it in the memoir. I've talked about it in interviews. Like there are some things I've said that I would definitely take back. And I adore her for that. It, it, I didn't know how I was doing when I was giving the eulogy. And she just looked like, she was like, and like just wow. really, and it really made me feel good. At your father's funeral, funeral you spot Ivanka and Jared in yeah. the back of the church. Uh, you, in your yeah. memoir, you refer to them as funeral crashers. What motivated, <laughs> what yeah. motivated them to come? Do you think? I've heard lots of different stories. I heard that um, my one of my dad's old advisors told me that it was just like an event they wanted to go to because his his funeral at the National Cathedral kind of ended up being this enormous moment. I was told that Lindsey Graham invited him. Um, I have whole I have been told many different things from many different people. They should never have come. They had no business being there. I remember seeing them and seeing her specifically. They had no goddamn business being there. And I they it's something that still angers me clearly. So you were happy they came. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, mentioned in uh, the book, it was surprised, this was a headline to me, um, that Trump called you while your dad was sick. This was mm -hmm. something that you had never talked about before. He didn't apologize on the call about the things that he had been calling your dad, but why do you think he called? He called because there was a report in uh, Axios by Mike Allen that he had been making fun of my dad's injuries because my dad, if you ever saw videos, he walked kind of funny because he was tortured and he like um, did it like a thumbs down, but he has like he had like a weird way of walking and he had it had been reported that he was making fun of him. And I tweeted like, what more was my family be put through right now? Right. And then I got a phone call that was like a, a voice message that was like the White House President Trump would like to speak to you. And I was like, ha like over my I was like, no. And then I called my dad and told him what happened and he was like Talk you have to, to respect the White House and you have to respect him and I was like I don't think I can hold back and it was a very weird conversation he said um it's all fake news it's a lie I never did that I never did that I never did that and then Melania he put Melania on the speakerphone <laughs> I know it's pretty good tea you're gonna get your money's worth out of my audible yes. biography okay Go on. um and then she on. said um it was on speaker and then she said um we love you we love you and I was like no you don't mm -hmm. I don't know what this is and it it was like very uncomfortable because it's the only time I ever had an interaction with them wow. and it was the closest they've ever come I felt like to realizing what they were doing and the damage it caused mm. and you know he lost Arizona so all's well now thanks for watching watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here see ya